So one of the things that comes up nowadays, particularly in the age of medical rating sites or doctor rating sites, is how do you make a decision about your doctor based on these sites? And the one caveat that I would say, I think rating sites are important. I use rating sites when I look on Google for a particular business, but realize that uh, your physician um, is gonna have a lot of good reviews, hopefully, and you definitely wanna look for those good reviews, but there are gonna be some negative reviews and it's just inevitable in this world that uh, even uh, the, the best clinician is gonna have some of those. So on the extreme, having all 5.0 reviews would be probably a little bit too much. Uh, so there are gonna be some negative ones. So if you're in that four to five range, um, that's something that's good. And then if it's even lower, just look and see kind of like what the problem is. And maybe the office just isn't run that efficiently, but it's a good clinician. Uh, very often one of the, the complaints that, that you'll get from an office is just kind of the inefficiencies of having to wait for the doctor. So you kind of have to look at what the complaint is. And as long as the physician is good uh, clinically, can get the job done, that's really what you want.